everybody, and welcome to today's second game of the doubleheader between Hornell and Cortland. The Cortland Crush and the Hornell Dodgers, New York Collegiate Baseball League game. First game, Cortland won three to two. Leading out for the press, the third base from number 30 from Canisius College, Steven Bennett. So here we go. So Stephen Bennett goes to Canisius College from Auburn, New York. He's a six foot nine hundred, oh yeah, nine hundred, hundred and ninety pound senior. First pitch is a strike. Austin Warfel on the mound for the Hornell Dodgers. Tip, Warfel ahead, one and two now. Pop fly is going to be probably out of play. Yep, against the fence. That wind, wind is blowing from first base to third. So anything like that, you never know, could curtail back in. But obviously that was too far gone. Count remains two and two. That's high, full count. Welcome those watching from fans of the Cortland Crush and fans of the Hornell Dodgers. Let us know where you're watching from in the comment section. Give us a like, give us a share, let other people know you're watching this game. That should be playable. Obviously, the spin of the ball that creates that carries it further than you think, because that ball was basically headed down right where the where Pat Henby was there, about where that white bucket is out there. But obviously, the curtailing of the spin pushed it way out. Like the wind is, like I said, and there's a shot to center, a little field underneath it, and the first out. So. Nine pitch first, the header creates the first out for Warfel. Now the left from Tennessee Wesley College, Alex Block. First time we've brought to you the Cortland Crush here today. This is number 10, Alex Flock from Tennessee Wesleyan from Georgetown, Indiana. Six foot one hundred and seventy five pounder. Flock is batting three ninety four. They have some impressive averages. They have two players batting above five hundred. Now, let me take that back. They only had two at bats each. <laughs> But uh, Flock here, who's got uh, 101 plate appearances, actually he leads the team. No, he's second in the team in plate appearances. That's a base hit down third baseline, and it's going to be a double. Just tight roped right down the third baseline for a double. Now batting the second base, number three from Southern Virginia University, Anthony Ciesco. So one out double. Brings up Anthony Ciesco. 
from Wood Woodcliffe, New Jersey. I always like naming these names. There's a lot of, they're all over the place, obviously. Rarely do you find someone from the same hometown, except obviously Hornell or the Dodgers are. You get a couple players from here. That's First National Credit Union 50 Center. Return that ball ball to our souvenir stand. We see a voucher for 50 cents. Afternoon to everybody out there in Facebook land. Nice sunny day, about 78 degrees here in the Maple City. That's popped up. Henby zeroes in. And you can see the hit ball. And you can just see the Henby throws it to third just on a wire. Impressive. Boy Jack, way to go get it. There's no freebies when you got Henby in right field. He's got the arm to get it in quickly. The center fielder number one from SUNY Brockport, Nicholas Pastor. It's the second out. Nicholas Pastor from Wynant Skill, New York. He's a junior at SUNY Brockport. One and one. Pastor batting 302. Popped out of play. One and two. Strikeout would be nice here, but right down first base. And Brody Burdett with the third out. It's going to take us to the bottom of the first. Today's game brought to you by the Ryan Agencies. Hornell, Wellsville, and Jasper stopping at the Hornell office at 37 Broadway. Or 57 Broadway, I apologize. Call 324-7500. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan Agencies in Hornell. And by Triple C's Tasty Freeze. The drive through is now open. All your favorite flavors of Perry ice cream. Call ahead and order a burger, cheeseburger, onion rings. They have the best onion rings in town. You can pick them up at the drive through Also, hot dogs and chicken tenders, you name it. Triple C's Tasty Freeze. John N. Dagan, General and Child Practice, probably serving in Southern Tier since 1989. Call 324-6690. John N. Dagan. And Maple City Dodge Airport Road in North Rhino. Great sales, great service on all Dodge Chrysler Jeeps. Also checked out the used car lot. They have plenty of used cars on the facility up there. No one to undersell Gary Harwood and his crew at Maple City Dodge. Mike Palmer, plumbing and heating, air conditioning, coal service, State Route 36 in Cana Steel. Call 698-4444. Need a plumber? Call Palmer. Mike Palmer, plumbing, heating, air conditioning, and coal services. And Wyan Kyle Practic Associates, 20 Park Drive in Hornell. Get well and stay well with a visit to Wyan Kyle Practic. Dr. John 
Wine and Dr. Joseph McKay at Wine Cow Practice, 324-7246. His son Spencer Wine started the first game for the Dodgers. Did very well, only giving up three runs, but Dodgers offensively just couldn't put it together and losing three to two. Fans, make sure to sign up for a signing contest will take place later on into the game. Go to our souvenir stand to sign up. So Andrew Littlefield to lead things off. The center the number 11 from Hanover College, Andrew Littlefield. Here's to Hanover College from Louisville, Kentucky. We're now so far on the second half of this season after the All-Star break have been splitting double headers. Let's hope we, that can continue today. Unfortunately, though, they got to start stringing together some wins, you know, three, four, five in a row, and it's just not happening. Like I said, when their pitching's on, their hitting's off. When their hitting's on, their pitching's off. You know, they're losing games uh, when they're scoring 10 runs and they're still losing games, so it's tough. Littlefield behind 0 and 2. And strikes out, so it's not going to get you going. Leading off the game with a strikeout, Hornell needs base runners. Like I said, we know, even when it comes to Dodgers, or their opponent, no lead is too safe. Tucker Holden. Go, Tuck! So Tucker Holden, the right fielder. From Oklahoma Wesleyan College. Or is it University? Hmm. <laughs> Lindsay, Oklahoma. Actually, I mentioned the other day that one of my friends taught at uh, Broken Arrow. High school, he was a principal there and worked there for 10 years or, or more and left there and came back to New York State and now is principal in, in Horseheads, New York. But I mentioned, uh, you know, uh, Lindsay, Oklahoma and Oklahoma Wesleyan College. He knew exactly where it was. And Holden. Rounds out to third. Now batting the catcher number 33 from Norfolk State University, Nick Wimmer. So Nick Wimmer's from Norfolk State. Oregonia, Ohio. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oregonia, Ohio. He lays on the first one. Fair ball. For a double. That actually is brought to by the Village Cafe. I gotta open my shutter. I apologize. We're getting a little bit too dark here when I zoom into the shadow area. So Wimmers with a two out double. Now batting the shortstop, number 14 from St. Bonaventure University, Kevin Higgins. So Higgins from St. Bonaventure from North Attleboro, Massachusetts. So Wimmer's on second with that two out double. Chance for Higgins to grab an RBI. Oh, ooh. Just on the inside. Get away. 
Ryan. Wimmers over to third. Play two and two. That's the first national credit union fifty center. All the kids are running from up in the. There's a. Oh, it's going to be probably an easy play, and it is. Oh, it wasn't that easy. <laughs> I thought that was a little lower and I thought it might have dropped in for a base hit, but it carried quite a bit. Like I said, that wind is pushing things up. So bottom, after one, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. And take us to the second. With that jurisdiction, I thank all their host families for their willingness to open their homes to our players. Host families are the life of our organization. Without you, we would be able to bring NYCBL baseball to Hornell. Yeah, this is brought to you by Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorney's offices in Buffalo, Rochester, New York City. Crowd supporters of the Bills, the Sabres, and your Hornell Dodgers. Call 585-262-COMP. Connors and Ferris. And by First Heritage Federal Credit Union, open up its newest branch on the corners of Mays and Seneca Street in Hornell. More than just checking and saving, stop into First Heritage and find out all the financial services that they can offer you. First Heritage Federal Credit Union. Airtight of New York, spray foam insulation. Call 368-2842 or log on to airtightofnewyork.com. It's located right here in Hornell, owned by Kevin Wilkins. Commercial, residential, new and old construction, Airtight of New York, spray foam insulation. Poulos and Roselle, attorneys at law, Tim Roselle, Bill Poulos. 324-7333, all types of law, practice at, at Poulos and Roselle, located in the Crossroads Professional Building. Of course, Elderwood at 1 Bethesda Drive, Elderwood at Hornell, that is, at 1 Bethesda Drive. Stop in for a tour of the beautiful facilities of Elderwood across from the Wegmans Walmart Plaza. And by Rustic Lux, 320 Cana Steel Street. Have that old piece of furniture that you were just probably going to throw away, bring it into Rustic Lux. She'll bring it back to life. Check out all the other furniture she has in her showroom. Beautiful things at Rustic Lux. And Gilio's Plumbing, Heating and Cooling. Call 382-0836. Chad Gilio at Gilio's Plumbing and Heating. 24-hour day service. And fully bonded and insured. Gilios. G -G Gilios. Number five, Eight, or number five, Hayden Houts from Northern State University, Owen, Wisconsin. He hails from. Lines that one foul. That ball just foul.
good little workout though. Get to run <laughs> almost a second base. That's really got to throw you off, you know, just sprinting that quick. And then there's a foul ball, you got to get back and get back to the plate, you know. It's that one lands in the Hornell dugout. In the Cortland Crush and the Hornell Dodgers here from Maple City Park in Hornell, New York. Peicher broadcasting from the Maple City Dodge broadcast booth here. Niagara Power have clinched the playoff spot, and there's a strike three. Beautiful pitch that time by Werfel. Now batting the right fielder, number 40 from St. Anselm College, Drew Bowling. Warfel is from Oklahoma City, but goes to Ottawa. It's funny you have players from Oklahoma City, they go to different colleges and different high schools, but obviously it's a city, quite a big city. Maybe these players probably play in AAU or traveling teams. Warfel ahead, 0-2. Oh, Glimmers tries to frame it, but called the ball. There it is, strike three. Beautiful job. That was Drew Bali from Fellmouth, Massachusetts. Oh, Max Flock is back up. You can hear the wind. I didn't bring my windscreen. I have one for this camera, and I forgot to bring it. And I knew leaving the office that it was windy out, but I just didn't think. I apologize. So 0 and 2. Inside. Strike three, so a good outing for Warfel. Team comes out to greet him. Bottom of the second now. Fans, would Leah Cohn and Aiden Burrett please report to the side of the Dodger dugout? Meet our Dodger interns. Stop down today and see why people drive for miles to come do business with us here in Maple City Dodge. We were looking all over for a Jeep, couldn't find what we wanted. We stopped at Maple City Dodge, found exactly what we were looking for at the price that we wanted. Come on in to Maple City Dodge. Well, we'll find you the right car at the right price, and I'll guarantee that. And Johnson. So Colin Johnson leads things off here, bottom of the second. Sheila Holden's watching from the airplane, getting ready to take off to head back to Lindsay, Oklahoma. Saying hi to her and her family. Had a chance to meet Mr. Holden. He might already be in the air. <laughs> so, Owen oh 2 to Johnson. Ooh, 
fastball just misses. Josh Laurie. It's very loud. Foul tip. All the kids try to run for it. <laughs> 50 cents they get. One out here, bottom of the second, still 0 0. Both teams have a hit. And it hits. Did it hit him? Apparently not. <laughs> it's Cam Holland, the catcher, tried to frame it. He held it there for a second, as you see him. No dice. Ball two, two and two. That's inside, so full count. Brody Burdett up next. I think I called him Colin Burdett earlier. That's his brother that plays for the Hornell Red Raider baseball team. Walks him. Tough to take that pitch, you know. It's now batting the first base, number 20 from Alfred State College, Brody Burdett. So Jack Henby on deck for Hornell. If Burdett can. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's still on deck. He'll be, he'll sh Unless it's a double play. There's the runner. Good steal. You know, he might as well. Ornell's record. You might as well steal, and I mean you got to play baseball, obviously, but that could be trouble. And it goes foul.
Oh, what are you doing? Inexcusable. <sighs> Tagged him. <sighs> Runner in scoring position. Not a good decision, but. That's been uh, the problem we've seen this year. You just can't make mistakes like that. You just can't do it. I mean, it's, if you're going to have any chance of winning games, it's just not going to work. It was Josh Laurie. So now one and one to Burdett, then nobody on, two outs. So really just takes the bat out of Burdett's hands. I mean, Burdett might as well swing at everything. <laughs> Anything close, obviously. Now he's going to have to to protect the one and two count. Outside, two and two. I mean, win it. Yeah. I'm not going to rant anymore. That ball gets away. Is that's three and two. I don't know. Burdett threw the bat, bat like it was a full count already, but it's full count now. Sunday evening baseball. Baseball, or I'm sorry, Burdett Rockets one. Oh, another beautiful catch. Nice hustle. Didn't see who was playing center field for Cortland. I don't get lineups, I just get the roster, so it's... See if I can... He's going to go into the no man's land there. Let's see his number. Number one. Give him some kudos as we go to the third. It was Nicholas Pastor. So good job, Nick. We go to the third. Now 
Cam Holland, the catcher, walks. Jack Lynch from Tum Trumbull, Connecticut. He goes to Ithaca College. He's a bomber. Ithaca College bombers. Cortland is right up the, not up the street, but Ithaca is where Ithaca College is and Cornell University is. One of my favorite Seinfeld episodes, Jerry had to travel to Ithaca <laughs> to do a sh concert or to do a show. And he's out! Ooh, that was close, but we'll take it. Another, that's a base running mistake again. You just, you know. Pitcher is Austin Warfel from Oklahoma City. Ottawa College, or is it Ottawa University? It just says Ottawa. Did he move to the city of Ottawa? <laughs> I think they should post, make sure they put in their Brock, like even Brockport College. And Sorry, trying to adjust the lighting here is tough. It's not on automatic because automatic doesn't always work that good, so I have to do it myself. Two and two. The sound you heard was my car. <laughs> now batting to third base for number 30, Stephen Bennett. So he walked him. I'm sorry, I had to go check my car out. Hit the hood. Wow, looked like a good one there, but two and oh. I know what's going on? The helicopter has been circling around. training today. There's a strike two and one. Two and two with that foul. That's first air to credit you get 50 center. The scoreboard is a little bit off. We're at top of the third. They still have it as bottom of the second. There's a strikeout. Now batting the left fielder number 10, Alex Flock. circling and circling and circling. I don't think it's a police helicopter. Usually you get that if they're looking for something or sometimes the utility companies use helicopters to track their... There's a shot. Two seconds. 
Diamond's play. Martinez. So we go to the bottom of the third. If you get hurt at work, you want to be able to turn to a professional you can trust. Someone on your side with the experience to tell you exactly how things will go. Helping you get your life back together. If you get hurt at work, call 262 COMP today and get the results you deserve. Connors and Ferris, your workers come attorneys. Jack Henby. So bottom of the third, Jack Henby. Cornell High School graduate, Alfred State College player. And a nice scoop. Beautiful job that time by first baseman Hayden Houts. Nice snag, too, by third baseman Bennett. Stephen now back Bennett. Now second baseman number two from Oklahoma Wesleyan University, Matt Martinez. So second baseman Matt Martinez. Two and two, the helicopter just keeps hovering out there. Martina strikes out. There's some drag racers. Let's see if we can film them. Field, number 11, Andrew Where's the police when you need them? Putting people's lives in danger. So, Andrew Littlefield takes ball one. Andrew, 
seven inning game. It's the anytime they play doubleheader, they only play seven innings. And if it's still tied after seven, they play only one extra inning, even after nine of a regular regular game. It's only one extra, they don't play extra innings, they play extra inning. And uh, well, if it's still tied after that, they um, each get a point. Two points for victories, one point for ties. But Hornell needs victories. <laughs> Spencer Wyan, who pitched the first game, started. <laughs> Three and two. A lot of full counts here today by both pitchers. In the Cortland Crush. In the Hornell Dodgers here, New York Collegiate Baseball League. Game coming to you from the city of Hornell, Maple City. It's a walk. So Littlefield. Does his job. Now batting the left fielder right E, Tucker Holden. Left fielder Tucker Holden who made that spectacular play two nights ago. To help seal the victory against Olean. You can go to Pice Sports yeah. on Twitter and see that he gets hit and see that play. So Holden, whose parents are on a flight right now back to home, they were here. She just uh, put a message on Facebook because she was ready on the plane ready to take off. But now they've got to be in the air by now. So two on, two out here, bottom of the third, Hornell. Anything around here. Kind of threatening position, but huh, the way you get picked lead. off nowadays, yeah. and that's what happened. Hornell had a runner on second before and got picked off. So, but here's who you want at bat Nick Wimmers. Wimmers takes a strike. I, I thought the second he released that ball, you could tell it was going to be off speed. I, I thought Wimmers might uh, jump on it. Another one. 0 oh 2 now. Hasn't been a good at bat for Wimmers here so far. 0 and 2. He knew he was going to not give anything over the plate this time and see if he could get Wimmers to chase. anything over the plate here either. Don't know though, he's thrown some off speed stuff. Maybe he's gonna give him the heat here. And that's it. Oop, he's all right. I guess he's all right. That's the third out, nonetheless. <laughs> that was bizarre. So the hits, scores, and two men left on base. And the training some play on the Ryan H.C. scoreboard. Dodgers zero, crush zero. Fans, this is now time for our music back contest. Our contestants will spin around the gravel well, line top of the and then race down to our intern, Aaron. On uh, your mark, get set, go! One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, go! <laughs> Took them a while to figure out what they were doing. Uh, I think they were dizzy. And thank our advertisers. Today's game brought to you by the Ryan Agencies, Hornell, Jasper, and Wellsville. Call 324 7500 or stop in at 57 Broadway. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan Agencies. Stop in and see Jeff Ryan today. And Triple C's Tasty Freeze. The drive through is now open. All your favorite flavors of Perry's ice creams. You got banana splits. You got milkshakes. Stop in. You can also order food ahead and pick it up through the drive through John and Dagan, general trial practice, probably serving the Southern Tier since 1989. Call 324-6690. John and Dagan. And Maple City Dodge Airport Road in North Toronto. Great sales, great service on all Dodge Chrysler Jeeps. Check out their monthly sales. Log on to maplecitydodge.com. Also, you can get a quick lube, too. Stop up and just they'll take your car in, lube, oil, change, and be, be done in a few minutes. So Mike Palmer Plumbing and Heating, Air Conditioning, Coal Service, State Route 36 in Canada Steel. Call 698-4444. Need a plumber? Call Palmer. Mike Palmer Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Coal Services. Dr. John Wyan, Dr. Joseph McKay at Wyan Cow Practice Associates. 20 Park Drive in Hornell. Get well and stay well with a visit to Wine and Cal Practic. 34, 72, 46. Wine Chiropractic. So, top of the fourth. At bat number three, An An Anthony <laughs> Zesco. And there's a base hit. One pitch, runner on seconds. Runners have been at a premium here. Now back here. to center fielder number one, Nicholas Pastor. So Pastor made that great catch in the last inning. Oh, and he slips. I'm not sure exactly, I didn't see exactly what happened to the ball. How? Oh, I think he it must have hit off his glove. I really didn't see. Let's see if I can see the replay here. Now batting the first base, number five, Hayden Howitz. Yeah, he just slipped. So two on, nobody out here. Another bunt attempt. Oops, threw it over to first. I'm sorry. It looked like he was going to throw it to second, but they said first to get the one. It's hard to see. I'm looking through these monitors and we're right out in the sun. We're not, don't have good coverage here. Now back to right fielder number 40, Drew Bowling. Go down as a sacrifice. So Drew Boley from Failmouth, Massachusetts. He goes to St. Enzelm, is that how you say Enzelm College? Apologize if I get that wrong. Balls in the dirt. So first runner we've had at third base today. For any team in Cortland. There's runners at second and third. There's a strike, one and one. He needs something on the infield here, anything to the outfield. see 
runner tag up and score from third. Although, anything short to Henby. Foul. What happened? He interfered. I didn't see. I, I, I don't know exactly. I'm going to have to watch, see what the heck happened here. I thought it was foul hit. I don't. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did. I don't. Wimmers got up. <laughs> and I think he made contact with the batter, it looked like to me, before, well, as he was hitting the ball. And that's catcher interference. And I, I'm pretty sure that is the call. And just by looking at I can look at the replay of, you know, the feed coming back to me. And it looked exactly that's what it was. Wimmers got up. And oh, hit, the, hit the runner. 12, Max so that loads the bases. Obviously a run doesn't score and a double play is now in effect. Go, 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 go. Oh no, no, don't work. Uh, no, they did score, I'm sorry. So that's, now it's two nothing. I'm sorry. I, I, so that worked, the runner did score and there was no one at second. But what gets me with one out, you know, don't worry about the guy at first, because now you just gave up another run. Uh, I guess that's a play. You know, I know I understand there's plays, but. So now another run scored. Cornell suddenly has two errors this game, or this inning, and this game. It's been the tell, uh, tale of the teller, tell of the tale, however you want to say it, <laughs> with Hornell this year. Just errors and problems and getting picked off on base and just plays like that. Why? You don't even worry about the runner at first. I am saying you're having trouble. There's a foul into the fans. So 0-2. There's the second out. That's why, you know, trying to throw that pick off to first, I, I just wouldn't do it. I, actually, he didn't, he didn't even have a big lead. That was the whole thing. He didn't. Didn't look like he was a threat to steal. I mean, they have they have numbers on these kids and know if someone's a, is a threat to steal. Um, but that's popped up. Littlefield doesn't have to move much until the wind got a hold of it. So two runs home, two errors for a horn out, one man left on. Base. Not a good and half inning for Hornell. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Brush two, Dodgers zero. Today's game brought to you by Connors and Ferris, your workers' cop attorneys with offices in Buffalo, Rochester, and New York City. Call 585 262 COMP. Connors and Ferris. And First Heritage Federal Credit Union. Corners of Mays and Seneca Street right here in Hornell, right next to the ballpark, actually. More than just checking and saving, stop in and check out all the financial services that First Heritage can offer you. Log on, you can check out the different events they also sponsor. Airtightofnewyork.com, spray of home insulation, commercial residential, new and old construction, call 368-2842. Commercial residential, new and old construction, spray of home insulation from Airtightofnewyork.com. And of course, Tim Roselle, Bill Pulos, attorneys at law. Call 324-7333 or stop it at their offices at the Crossroads Professional Building on Main Street in Hornell. Poulos and Roselle. And longtime supporters of broadcasts that I do. I want to thank Tim and Bill.
So Kevin Higgins. Try to get things open here at bottom. Nice recovery. <laughs> Beautiful job to knock that down. And he gets it over, so. Beautiful job. Johnson. Foul ball. <laughs> you see him? Don't throw me the ball. I can't see. There. <laughs> oh. So he kind of threw it up in the air. That is bad. Uh, it's Charlie Hamill, the pitcher. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna put his hand. Don't throw me the ball. Like throw it to the second baseman or something first. Yeah, the sun sets. Sun comes up at first base and sets at third. So this field is facing directly north and I when I say directly I mean directly it's ba almost basically perfectly north so when the sun sets first baseman struggle doesn't matter where it sets on any baseball park someone's gonna struggle so Years ago, this was flipped. The grandstands were out in center field, and obviously the field was flipped around, and that grandstand burned. He walks. And they built this stadium. And if you're just joining us, this is what this stadium looks like. It's quite large. Now batting the third base, number five, Josh Laurie used as a football stadium for many years, football and baseball stadium when it was built. And then back in 1988, they redid everything. And you can see all over there, that's the football stadium now. It's kind of hard to see with the all weather track. Hornell High School was the first public high school in New York State to have artificial turf and an artificial track, or a rubber track, I should say in New York State back in 1988. That's when it was started. It wasn't used until this uh, fall of 89. That's a little bit of a trivia, useless trivia. <laughs> well, that was the first public school to have artificial turf. AstroTurf, or Baspo grass, I think they called it back then. It was a knockoff of AstroTurf. Back then, obviously, a lot of companies started making it. AstroTurf, named after the AstroDome, which they was originally grass inside, but they found out they it couldn't. It was like a big, let's see, is that gonna be fall in? Foul. So the Astrodome was a roof. Obviously, it's still it's still around today. It's being reconverted into something else. But the roof was it's like basically a big greenhouse. It had uh, translucent panels up top so the sun could get in. But they found out that it wasn't too good for playing baseball in there. So they had to come up with a solution and they made fake grass. And they call the grass AstroTurf. Houston Astros played there, Houston Oilers. 
one of the that's on my bucket list. I, it was once the, called the eighth wonder of the world. I want to go to Houston. I want to go to Minnesota too. I see the New York Mets are traveling to Minnesota, I believe, to play this week. But can't go this trip. But beautiful country up there as well as we have here. Any of these northern states. This beautiful green. Beautiful day today. I just, you just can't ask for a better summer than we've had. Once it turned summer, our spring was horrible. There's strike three, so full count knocks him down with two outs. Sorry, I'm rambling on. I didn't have the. Now batting the first base, number 20, Brody Burdett. So, first baseman Brody Burdett. Like I said, a beautiful place to grow up and live. So the only, we don't have hurricanes, earthquakes, any of that stuff, flooding. The only thing we have is uh, high taxes and potholes. <laughs> Another, oh, geez. I thought another time we were going to have another pickoff there. Two nothing Cortland on a horrible top of the inning for Hornell. Two errors. <laughs> nice catch over there by one of the players warming up in the bullpen. Let's go, bro. Go, Brody. One and one. We did have a, not from Hornell, but we had a player from Houston on one of the teams, I think it was last year or two years that Hornell played. Ian inside, two and one. Brody Burdett, born and raised in Scottsdale, Arizona, but his family moved here to Hornell. He goes to Alfred State College and now Hornell Dodger, his brother plays for the Hornell Red Raiders. Three and one, patience. is one and not far enough nice play by Pastor so we're gonna go to the fifth Fans, the good thing is sponsored by Wilson Beef Farms. Thank you, Wilson Beef Farms, and you're planning your summer picnic. Elderwood and Hornell One Bethesda Drive, stopping for a tour of Elderwood. Just to remind you, Crossing the Wegmans Walmart Plaza, beautiful Ryan. facility. Long-term care facility, short-term rehab at Elderwood. And Rustic yeah, Lux got that piece of furniture that you kind of want redone. Or if we're going to throw out, we'll bring it into Rustic Lux first. She re-loves the furniture and brings it back to life. 320 Cannon Steel Street. Of course, Gillios Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Call 382-0836 for Gillios. 24-hour day service, emergency service, and fully bonded and insured. In life, some surprises are good. 
And some surprises aren't. You'll be pleasantly surprised by how much cash you could earn with our Kasasa Cash checking account. You could earn dividends up to 3% APY each month just by using your checking account. Plus, your ATM fees may be refunded. There's no monthly fee, no minimum balance, and no unpleasant surprises. Call First Heritage or visit us at fhfcu.org to open your Kasasa Cash checking account today. Some restrictions apply. Chopper foul. Hoyter asked where Don Hoyt asked where the triple C's was. Tasty freeze. It's on Park Drive down the street, actually from uh, nice pass over this way. Um, Wyan Kyle Practic, right down by James Street Park. There's a base hit. That was Hayden Houts, I believe. Or was that number two? That was Jack Lynch. All right, the third base, number 30, Stephen Bennett. So Stephen Bennett from Canisius College from Auburn, New York. Takes strike one. Pops one foul. That's first here is Freddie in 50 center. Holdens are still on the runway. They said about delays. Yeah, they just I am not sure how old the message was, but now Bach moves the runner over. for strike one. Come back to left field number 10, Alex Flock. Wesleyan College. There's a lot of Wesleyan colleges out there, isn't there? <laughs> More than I ever knew. <laughs> Actually, there's a one of my good friends, a couple of my good friends went to Roberts Wesleyan, which is in Rochester up north of here. I was trying to think, what Wesleyan colleges do I know? And that was one of them. I've been there a couple times. More than a couple times, actually. 2-0. Two to nothing on a horrible fourth inning for the Dodgers. And two errors. In that inning. So three and one. And walked them. So a one out walk. Puts runners on first and second. Lynch on second. Now Flock on first. 
Anthony Cezesco from Woodcliffe Lake, New Jersey. Is that one of the places where there's not a lake within 100 miles of the place, what they call a Woodcliffe Lake? I forget which, that's uh, probably not them, but there is a couple places in the United States where I think there were lakes at one time, but they have dried up or whatever, so there's no lakes there anymore. It's just forest and, or farmland now or whatever, and they kept the name Lake. And the closest lake's like 60 miles away. Two. Needs a strikeout here. It's in the dirt. Runners are going to stay, though. Good stop by Wimmers. One and two. Another good stop by Wimmers. His Warfels kind of struggling to find the mark here. Two and two. Sure, what he called timeout in the dirt. Good, he's gonna steal. Now that I think Wimmers obviously should have went to third there. He was already had a huge lead. He wanted to prevent him from going third. Instead, he throws it to second, which wasn't a good play. I with one out. He's at third, so a pop fly to the outfield is going to score him, most likely. Of course, a walk here doesn't it won't even matter. But. Popped out of play. That's first heritage credit union 50 center. Ronald advances to second. Now heading to center fielder number one, Nicholas Pastor. So Nick Pastor. Third out. So 
no damage that time as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Two runs, one hit, and there's two men left on that base. The board having to play on the Ryan A.C. scoreboard. Crush two, Dodgers zero. Cornell fans sitting way out there in right field. Fans, boy, Colin Haley, please board through the side of the Dodgers dugout. Dodge, Peter Dodger returns. Best selected like for today's target toss. So you want to review your insurance and see if you're getting the best deal. You could call that Big Brand Insurance Company, but the big name company can only provide one thing, what they're locked into selling you. But the Ryan Agency is your local independent agency offering options from many top insurance companies. Insurance protection you can rely on, the Ryan Agency. Takes a strike. What airport are you at, Holdens? If you're still Jack. out of Rochester or Buffalo here, or Elmira. Elmira Airport's probably the closest. I'm not sure if they, I think they only serve, I don't think they serve Detroit in that area. They serve south and east. Henby with a base hit. We get things going. So a leadoff hit for Jack Henby. Coming back to second base number two, Matt Martinez. So Matt Martinez, who's Played short and second most of this year. Has been the second the last few games. He lays down the bunts. And he's out, but that good bunt, though, by Martinez. Sends Henby to second. Now back to center fielder number 11, Andrew Littlefield. Oh, Drew. Get I value out there. I don't really prom prom promote my own businesses, but I own Peich Video as well, so I do video services. I do transfers, so if you have slides, old pictures, old films, uh, you know, the old 8 millimeter reel to reel and stuff like that, I do all those type of transfers as well. VHSs and everything. We can put it on DVD or digital, so you can watch it on your phone. And you can just get a hold of me by private messaging me on Facebook or Call 607-661-6173. That's Place Video Transfer Services. I do them from all around the country, so you can send them to me. Doing a couple right now from Ontario. Is it? No, no. Ontario, California, I think it's from. They sent me a bunch of stuff. Slides and film transfer. It's quite neat, the systems that I have purchased over the years and been able to do. 30 years of it. There's a shot. Henby going to round. We're now on the board. That extra race is brought to you by the Village Cafe in Hartford. And then for the Dodgers, the left field and great E, Tucker Holden. Come on, Tuck. You can hear the. Hey, one, Eddie. Here we go, babe. Oh, no. 
any luck, you'll be watching the whole game from the point. And you gotta stay in there and take that hit by pitch. <laughs> Just as good as a base hit, as they say. They got ice for it. Hmm. I wouldn't take it, but. Also, if you'd like the DVD collection of this season's games that we've covered, I sell them as well in the set. Usually runs about $10 a game, I think it is, if you buy the whole set. I think we're up to eight games right now. Here we go, Chuck. Or if you just want individuals, it's uh, 20. One and one to Holden. Also sell you Blu-rays, which is the high definition version. Which I would, everyone should have a Blu-ray player by now, I would think. Of course, people mostly just watch their movies and stuff online, but I've amassed quite a collection of Blu-rays. I like just to be able to throw them in whenever. And especially with family events I do now, I put them on Blu-ray and put them on a private YouTube. Because these games will not be on YouTube forever. I'll be taking them off. As advertisers change and stuff. One and two to Holden. Oh, and he reached for that one. And he's put down. So that's the second out. So Wimmer's up. Wimmers takes a strike. Fastball for strike two. Good thing is the wind has settled down. Sun is settling, setting, and the wind is settling. <laughs> There's a base hit. They're gonna keep. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, I was like, don't go. And Littlefield rounded third like. A madman. So Higgins up. Fans, get out your 50 50 tickets. We have a winning number. The I didn't even see him. I usually buy a 50 50, but nobody even hour. came up next to me. If you have the winning ticket, please come up to the press box to claim your prize. Tonight's winning 50 50 ticket number is 498656. 498. Six, five, six. So no pin, pitcher Benjamin Mack is on the mound now for the crush. Your attention, please, he'll say. Now pitching. Your attention, please, now pitching. Come on in, we have great deals on great wheels. Coming to Maple City Dodge was huge for me. I got a great deal. I was treated better than family here. I needed a new car in three days and they came through. It's worth the drive to Maple City Dodge because we have the best sales and service and we'll prove it.
Kevin Higgins. With runners on the corners. on the third baseline. One run home. He got him out at home. <laughs> A nice try, Wimmers. Hmm. Hope he's all right. Time to get two runs. Three hits. So it does knock things up. Fans just got back to our target toss. Our contestant will get three chances to throw the ball through our target. Target toss. Are you ready? You can go. Look at her zeroing in. You can do it. Uh -oh. Give her one more. Oops. I give a round of applause. <laughs> and it won't break my leg. A little too exuberant. Fans, <laughs> the sixth inning is sponsored by our friends at the Hornell Association. So, 2 2. Austin Werfel still pitching for Hornell. Leading off the six. For the crush, the first base, number five, Hayden Howitz. Hayden Houts from Owen, Wisconsin, Northern State University player, up here. Morphle behind, 2-0. and all. Makes the count full for Houts. Base hits. They call that a quality at bat. Gets the pitcher's pitch count up. Oh, 
Now batting to right field at number 40, Drew Bowling. So Drew Bowley, sophomore at St. Elms College, six foot, 195 pounder. Be a nice time for a double play here. Walked him, so two on now, nobody out. So Hornell just trying to. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the crush. Split this double header here in trouble. Sean O'Malley. Cortland has two on with nobody out. Pitch hitting Sean O'Malley from Darien, Connecticut. For the crush. There's a nice little scoop. Balls take a weird bump sometimes with the runners advance to First and second, or I'm sorry, second and third with one out now. As looks like they might be in for a pitching change for the Dodgers. Dakota Borman is warming up in the Dodger bullpen. talk here. The umpire's out there. I'm not sure. So the catcher, Cam Holland, up. Six foot two, 240 pounder. Swings through that one. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I walk to the mound sometimes, either by the catcher or the coach. Really does wonder sometimes. <laughs> well, as two runs are going to come home. So Holland jumps on the second pitch there. Good job by Littlefield to shut or hit the cutoff man, but just to keep him, keep Holland at first. But two runs. Now back to shortstop number two, Jack Lynch. 
score for the crush. They go up four to two. Other base hits. So, really, you know, I I, I don't mind. You know, I'm surprised the pitching chain wasn't made there, but still trying to get. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going. But damage was done. If you're watching on Spectrum Cable Channel 1301, or you're watching on Peish TV YouTube channel, we'll be back after this commercial break. Facebook Live, stay with us live right here. If you get hurt at work, call 262-COMP today and get the results you deserve. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. So Dakota Borman in pitching now for the Dodgers. At the plate, Stephen Bennett. Got to limit the runs here. Two, ho two runs home here in the top of the six. As Cortland reclaims the lead. Two and two, one out, two men on. Can it hit him? To load the bases. Alex Flock with bases loaded to one out. Yes. 
check swing foul. Strike three. So base is loaded strikeout. Coming the second base, number three, Anthony Siesco. So Siesco up. Dakota, chance to get out of this inning. In life, some surprises are good, and some surprises aren't. You'll be pleasantly surprised by how much cash you could earn with our Kasasa Cashback checking account. With Kasasa Cashback, you could earn 2% cash back on your debit purchases just for using the account. Plus, your ATM fees may be refunded. There's no monthly fee, no minimum balance, and no unpleasant surprises. Call First Heritage or visit us at fhfcu.org to open your Kasasa Cashback checking account today. Some restrictions apply. Leading off the sixth for the Dodgers, the designated hitter number seven, Colin Johnson. So Johnson, the DH takes strike one. Have a good AB. Shadows over the field here. That's first third spread to 50 center. One and two to Johnson. And time grounds out to Lynch, the shortstop. I'm betting the third base number five, Josh Lowry. Go, 
Josh. Jacob Simon pitching for Cortland now. Toland, Connecticut is from. Two and two. To the first baseman, Houts. Coming okay, the first base, number 20, Brody Burdett. Cornell travels to Genesee. Take on the Rapids tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. I guess I have to look again. I'm sorry. I think they might be home. <laughs> if they don't, no matter what, we are not doing tomorrow night's game, whether they're home or away. I don't have that in front of me, but. Pretty sure it's home now that I think about it, but we will not be bringing you that game. find out for sure here in just a second. 3 and 0. Oh, that walks and four straight pitches. So a two out walk. Jack Henby, who. Now batting the right fielder number six. Is right Jack field. Henby. Travel a little bit. 
That's first Heritage Credit Union 50 center. One and two to Hanby. Come on, Jack, battle up there. Here we go, Jack. Jack. Win the pitch, bud. Can't be able to do anything. Matt Martinez is on deck. Oh, wow. Make him catch it there. That freaking sucks. Yeah, that was a bad, not a very good call. That looked like it was low on outside. Henby, even Henby's like, Where, that pitch was horrible. Six innings of play on the right. He's four. Crush four. Dodgers two. So we're going to go to the seventh. Looks like that was, I was, I was going to actually put ball on there because it looked like it was so bad. Our Wilson Beef Farms gift certificate. If you have program number 140, you've won a $25 gift certificate to Wilson Beef Farms. If you have program number 140, please come up to the press box to claim your prize. Here's number 140. He's going to go pick, get his Wilson Beef, $25 Wilson Beef Farm. Skies. Lights are coming on now. So Jack Lynch, or I'm sorry, this is not Jack Lynch. This is number one, Nicholas Pasteur, the center fielder. Leading off the seventh for the crush, the center fielder number one, Nicholas Pasteur. night here in the Maple City. Dakota Borman still pitching on the mound for the Dodgers. for that one. So full count to Pasteur. Louis Pasteur, I wonder if he's any relation. No. Popped up, uh oh. That's first oh, missed a car. There's someone back there to get it. And he snags it. Let it rip. 
<laughs> He's going to give it to one of the kids. There's another one foul. That's headed toward the, hi the highway. <laughs> Stays alive, three and two. So Dakota and Wimmers. Nobody can reach your lips. Hits. So Pastor with a leadoff hit. Yeah, very good. Batting to first base, number five, Aiden Houts. So first baseman Houts. Pitched single for Houts. Now back to right field number 40, Drew Bowling. So Drew Bowley up. Two and one. Safe at second. Runner comes home though. Hmm. Makes it five to two. Dakota. 
and strike out. Attention, please. Bench hitting for the brush from Middlebury College, number 39, Andrew Go. Andrew Golf. Now, here's an interesting. I've never heard that name golf like it's spelt here except for my own cousins. I am related to golf, G-O-U-G-H. He's from Lake Forest, Illinois. My dad, my first cousin once removed are golf, G-O-U-G-H. He's a golf. I'm sure there's others. I just have never seen anyone or seen it published anywhere else. One and one. Strikeout, important here. Yeah, they're always important, but. Two and two. Walked him. No batting, they catch it number 43, Cam Holly. Tried to steal third. His Dakota kind of just stepped off the rubber because he didn't like the pitch, I don't think. And they go, turn around. So that helps. First baseman Cam Holland pitching now. Or not pitching, I'm sorry, at the plate. Two and two.
gunshot over on the street next to us over here. You can see everyone look back. It didn't sound good. Full count to Holland. the lights and like the natural da -da 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 -da. of course that was a home run that was this one's a foul Dakota's hanging out here. He walked. There he goes. <laughs> all, his, all his players are pitching on, or picking on him. Jack Lynch to the plate. Five runs on nine hits for Cortland. Two runs on five hits for the Dodgers. Dodgers have two errors. So a lengthy top of the seventh. On two hits. No errors, two men left on base. After six and a half innings of play on the right, he scoreboard. Press five, Dodgers two. Quickly, our advertisers again, the Ryan Agencies. Thanks for all your support this year and the past year. Thank you very much. Triple C's Tasty Freeze at 50 Park Drive next to Veterans Memorial Park. The drive through is now open. John N. Dagan, General and Trial Practice. Corners of Church and Genesee Street. Thank you, John. Maple City Dodge, Gary Harwood and his crew up there, known to undersell on Dodge Chrysler Jeeps. Mike Palmer, plumbing, heating, and air conditioning. 
Thanks, Michael, for your support. Wyan Kyle Pratt Associates, Dr. John Wyan, Dr. Joseph McKay, 324-7246, Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. First Heritage Federal Credit Union. Thanks again. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Airtight of New York, spray foam insulation. Thank you. Poulos and Roselle, attorneys at law. Thank you for your support. Elderwood at Hornell. Long-term care facility, short-term rehab. Rustic Lux, 320 Cannon Steel Street for reloved furniture. Check out their showroom. And Chilio's Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, 3820836. Thank you very much. So new pitcher. Number 17, oh. Jimmy Tatum. He's from Scottsdale, Arizona as well. I wonder if he knows Cody Burdett. Obviously, Scottsdale is a pretty big city. A senior at Trinity U. Leading off the seventh for the Dodgers, the second base, number two, Matt Martinez. So this is it for Hornell, is Matt Martinez. Cornell can somehow score four runs here, and it starts with Martinez. Takes a strike. It's tough when an umpire is inconsistent, and I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not saying he's inconsistent. It looks like the batters think he is. But you know, you don't, especially when you think something's inside and he calls a strike. I mean, inside so much that it should be a ball to the batter. It uh, kind of handcuffs you. It's like you, you dare not swing sometimes, but that ball is way inside for two and one. Little field on deck. Nice if one out can get a runner here. Couple runners at least, and that one's a strike. Another one, you can see just the grimace. Either he's grimacing from, should have been swinging on that, or grimacing because it was low. Martinez is a short batter. That one's outside, full count. I mean, when I say short, Martinez is only five foot seven, so. Strike zone changes a little bit per per person, and he strikes out. So, Andrew Littlefield now. I want to thank everybody for joining us on Pice Sports Facebook Live. Again. So actually the Hornell Dodgers are home again tomorrow against Genesee. We will not be bringing you that game. Our next game will be Wednesday at 7, Hornell and Mansfield. So just so you know, we're not going to be doing tomorrow's game. They say Littlefield goes around. They don't mess around. I have never seen anyone really hold back from swinging that they don't call a strike. That time kind of looked like he held back, but. chance for a Hornell here. They need runners on base. I mean, I don't, you know I don't have to say it. <laughs> but when you're down by three runs, and this is your last at-bats unless you can produce at least three runs. 
That's high, so. With Tucker Holden up now. Lindsay, Oklahoma, Oklahoma Wesley. Tucker Holden. The Tuckster. Oh, and Holden has to duck. Holden pops up. And there's a second out. Quick, quick look at the scoring. Oh, no, only bottom of the fifth able to get two runs. You know, the two errors didn't help, but counted for at least one run for Cortland. I dare say I haven't done a game this year where Hornell has not committed an error. Popped out of play. So we're now down to their last two strikes here. Like I said, our next game will be Wednesday. Oh. There's a pop fly, should be it. And it is, the Cortland Crush sweep the doubleheader from the Dodgers. Five, Final two. score of five to two, as you see. Dodgers are, again Dodgers are home again tomorrow, but we will not be bringing you that game. It's one of the games we did not schedule. Mondays are extremely tough for me to do games, but we will be back Wednesday as Hornell takes Mansfield on Mansfield at seven o'clock. So everybody, thanks for joining us. Good luck to Holden's getting back to Oklahoma. <laughs> Uh, eventually your plane will take off, right? Nice teams. High fives, or fist bumps, whatever they're doing. So thanks again for joining us. Till Wednesday night, we'll see you then.